In this second part of the lesson, uh, we are learning how to add extra information when we have positive characteristics and when we want to place the emphasis on the contrast of certain uh, appreciations. In the first case, I want you to analyze the sentence. Los Angeles is a big city and the weather is nice. First of all, we are identifying our adjective, in this case, big, and in this second case, nice. As you see, both of them has a positive meaning because we are giving characteristics that many people uh, could find uh, positive about uh, Los Angeles. As you notice, uh, my sentence is a subject, Los Angeles, verb is in the complement a big city using adjectives for descriptions. Then I have a comma. I am using the, conjun the conjunction and, and I start a new sentence. Subject, the weather, verb is, and a complement, nice. Since both of my complements are adjectives and they have positive effect, then I am using and to uh, identify them. To the, um, yes, to join them in a sentence. Check the second example. I have Boston is a big city. Over here, this is a positive appreciation, but it's not too big. I mean, it is big, but not super big. In this case, I am making a contrast between uh, two characteristics. Then, once again, I have my subject, my verb, my complement, that is big, comma, but the conjunction, the conjunction I am using is but. Then subject, in this case, um, I am not saying Boston, I am saying it. Uh, that is a pronoun replacing Boston, the verb that is is. And now my adjective is not too big. Remember, to is an adverb that is um, placing the emphasis in something is big in this case, but not too big the opposite and uh, that is my complement this can be considered positive and this not to be can be considered negative when i have this contrast of the uh, information the description i need to use the contraction the conjunction but to contrast my first positive uh, appreciation the adjective i am using and the second that is not exactly positive. That's why I need to state my contrast, a positive characteristic and a negative characteristic. In the previous one, both of them were positive. That's when I am using and. Um, there are some other words uh, similar to but, but they are placed at the end. Uh, they are exactly synonyms. It's a big city. We are talking about Boston. It's not too big, so it's a big city. It's not too big, however. It, they are similar to both. The only thing is the position, and sometimes it is difficult to analyze the meaning because they are at the end. Let's have this exercise. Uh, that is, choose the correct conjunctions and rewrite the sentences. Quiero is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. Very nice, positive extremely friendly, positive. It means that I need to use and. So rewrite the sentence. Quiero it is very nice, comma, and everyone is extremely friendly. Number two, the streets are crowded during the day. They're very quiet at night, though. Crowded is negative, but quiet is positive. That's why I need to use the that is similar to but, and it is placed at the end. So the streets are crowded during the day. They are very quiet at night, though. And three, the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. And in this case, weather is nice, positive, and pretty hot is not exactly so good. So negative, that's why we are using however, place at the end. You can rent a bicycle, it's expensive. So this is positive, but expensive is negative. I need to use but.